Audi's future in Malaysia is electrified and it starts with this, the new e-tron GT. With prices starting at just under 600,000 ringgit as well as a hotter RS e-tron GT available, is this now the new electric saloon that everybody is going to be looking for? Well, we're going to take a quick look at this to find out. My name is Ayman Ayabdullah, this is Malaysian Motoring and this is our quick preview of the new Audi e-tron GT. Now the e-tron GT will be available in Malaysia in three guises. We have this, which is the GT Quattro 50. You also get the e-tron GT with dynamic package as well as the RS e-tron GT. Now prices start at 587,990 ringgit for the base model, rising to 666,990 ringgit for the e-tron GT with dynamic package and it rises all the way to 792,990 ringgit for the RS e-tron GT. Now, one thing that all three of these cars share is this very dramatic look with a very long bonnet up front, this nice sweeping roof line, and of course, the beautiful frameless doors. The other thing that you get with all of these cars are very large alloy wheels, obviously sizes range, but you do at least get charging ports on both sides, which on this car are manual, but on the other ones are electronic. The other thing that's standard is Quattro. Now, Audi says that Quattro has been reimagined in order to incorporate its new electrified future and now reacts faster than ever before, which delivers not only a sure-footed driving experience, but also greater traction and grip and security in every measure. Now, as far as we're concerned, we are certain that this is a very good-looking car indeed. How it drives remains to be seen, although we should be getting one of these on review pretty soon. Now, despite the four-door coupe roofline, the RS e-tron and the e-tron gt are very practical indeed you have a decent amount of space in here with space on either side and the rear seats do fold flat now if this is not enough room or should you want to find somewhere else to hide your charger you can actually put it in the front where you will find even more space just enough to stick in a small bag or more importantly the portable charger now of course if you do close this we can go back to looking at this rear end which i think is absolutely stunning now, the interior of the e-tron GT is certainly just as exciting to be in as it is to look at. You have these gorgeous sports seats up front which hug and hold you exactly where you want them to. And of course, you are treated to a bank of screens, one here in the center and one up ahead of you. This one in the middle in typical Audi fashion is incredibly crisp and very responsive. And the one up front should have all the relevant information necessary. And of course, the e-tron GT lineup comes as standard with a full color heads up display, which means you get even more information displayed up ahead of you. Now, in terms of materials chosen for these vehicles, they are different from spec to spec. Although this particular e-tron GT does benefit from some lovely Alcantara here, electric seats with memory functionality and so on. It is a little dark, but then again, this is meant to be a sporty car, which is why it looks like it's meant to focus your attention to what's up front. Now, even though the e-tron GT is based on the same platform as used as the Porsche Taycan, which is why it looks like it does, I have to admit that sat here, it looks very different out front. If you'd like to see what life is like living with a Taycan, you can check out our Taycan video up here. But in the back, you will find that there is actually plenty of space. With this seat set up in my driving position, I have pretty good knee room and actually a decent amount of headroom. And because this is a ground up EV, it does mean that this interior has been optimized for space in here, which is why I have fantastic under thigh support. And there's also space in the center tunnel to incorporate air conditioning vents. You of course get a center armrest here and these seats do come with isofix mounts. And as I mentioned earlier, they do fold flat. Now, this particular e-tron seems to be specified with the Bang & Olufsen audio system, which if it does come as standard, because I can't seem to find it in the spec list, should mean that audible quality should be fantastic in here, as befitting a car of its price, I imagine. With the range damn nearly reaching 500 kilometers, regardless of which e-tron GT vehicle you choose, and with plenty of fast charging of up to 170 kilowatts in both of these cars, there is no doubt that these particular vehicles are suited both for town driving as well as touring. On top of that, Audi says that its centers in Glenmarie, Satya Alam and Juru are already outfitted with AC and DC chargers exclusively 
for e-tron customers with a new Audi center coming to Johor very soon, which means that these vehicles can traverse the entire country reliant solely on Audi chargers, if that's what you'd like to try and do. Now again, the prices for the e-tron GT begin at a little under 600,000 ringgit, rising to just under 800,000 ringgit for the variants on offer. Let us know what you think in the comment section below about these svelte, beautiful new vehicles. Is this now the four-door coupe EV that you want? Again, let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care and stay safe.